My darling sweet Mabel. Yes darling. The most beautiful woman in the world. That's me baby. The butter in my bread, the sugar in my tea, the cheese in my pizza. You are blowing my mind. I have not even started. Happy 35th birthday my love. Thanks my love. I have a special gift for you. Really? Thanks my baby. Let me show you. Please follow me. Okay. Thank you baby. You are already saying thank you without seeing it. Yes baby. Can you tell me what it is? No baby. It's a surprise. Can you give me a clue? No. I don't want to ruin the surprise. We are almost there. I'll wait patiently then. I know how much you desire to have a fashion boutique and I couldn't think of a better birthday gift. This is for you baby girl. Wait. What? Baby, this whole place is mine. Yes my love. Why are you crying? It's tears of joy. I have never received this kind of love from any human being. Thank you so much my love. May God continually bless you. Amen. You deserve it. You are my best friend and the wife of my youth. I love you so much my dear Lazarus. I will never stop loving you. You are the best husband in the world. I am blessed to have you as my husband. Mabel. Bola. Am I seeing right? Is this you? Yes, it's me my friend. I haven't seen you since college. Yes. I have not really been in the country. My husband is a world-class businessman. I travel with him most of the time. Really? You are looking so good. Thanks my friend. You also look good. But not as good as you. How did you locate my store? I ran into Peace at the hospital. Peace is ill. She had bruises. She said she fell. I went for medical checkup. I am pregnant. That is good news. Congratulations. Thanks dear friend. Your store is so big and beautiful. I can see you have good quality clothing. Really? You think this small store is big? I know you can afford 50 of it. Your husband can even get a clothing warehouse for you. You are right. I actually have a shoe factory in Italy. Wow. That is huge. A whole factory. Your husband must be wealthy. You are also doing well. A lot of people want what you have. You think so? Yes. I know so. You should be proud. Okay. Do you have maternity gowns? Yes I do. Can you select 10 for me? Sure. Thanks. Have you tried them on? Yes. I'm on the 10th one. They are all beautiful. I'm happy you like them all. I'm about to leave now. You leave so early. Yes. My son should be back from school. I have two shop assistants. They stay till evening. Did you come in your car? Yes I did. You can know my house if you don't mind. I'll like to know your house. Okay, let's go. You have a nice car. Thanks. My husband bought it for me as pregnancy gift. Really? You have a good husband? Yes, I do. Thanks. I'm sure you do too. Welcome to my home. Your home is beautiful. Thanks. I have to go. I'll come visiting later since I already know your house. Let me get you something to eat before you leave. Don't worry. I'll come back. Thanks for coming. Can I take you home? Don't bother. I'll take Uber. All right. Why am I not lucky to have a rich husband? Bola's husband got her a whole factory while mine got me a small shop. She is traveling round the world. What a beautiful life to have. I can't keep receiving peanuts from Lazarus. I'm going to make life difficult for him. I didn't know you were home. I was on the phone with my third wife. Oh, okay. How was the shopping you went for? It went well. It was at an old friend's shop. She came home with me. She just left. Oh, I see. Welcome home, mom. How was school? School was fine. You looked dull. I'm fine. Have you eaten? I ate cereal. Okay. I'll be in the room.
I feel unfulfilled. I thought I was enjoying my marriage. I can't believe I have been suffering without knowing. I'm home baby. Mabel. Yes. What is wrong? Nothing is wrong. I am fine. Are you sure? Don't I look fine? My wife doesn't talk like this. Talk to me what is wrong. I want to be alone. Talk to me please. Leave me alone. Okay. I'll leave you alone. You are not a caring man. So you wanted to turn your back. But you said I should leave you alone. Wow. Now I know the kind of husband I married. You do not care about me at all. That is not true. I want to sleep just leave me alone. Babe. I said you should leave me alone. Fine. I'll be in the parlor if you need me. It is obvious he doesn't care about me. Why is there no food in this house? How can I go out and come back without meeting food in the house? Where is Mabel? Paul. Hello dad. Where is your mom? I don't know where she is. I think she stepped out. Stepped out without cooking. Have you eaten? Yes. What did you eat? She kept food for me in the microwave. I ate grilled chicken and rice. Wow. Without keeping mine. She knows it's my best food. That should be your mom. Hi babe. I didn't know that I won't meet you at home. Where are you coming from? Who is he talking to? I'm talking to my wife. I didn't meet any food at home. Excuse me. I left food for my son. I am sure he has eaten. What about your husband? Is he not supposed to eat? I don't know. You can ask him. I should ask myself. I am exhausted. I had a long day. I don't have the energy for your drama. But I do everything you ask me to. The only thing I know I don't do is cooking. I take out the trash, I get groceries, I drop our son off at school, I pay almost all the bills. What else do you want me to do? Are you a good husband? Are you? When was the last time you gave me money for upkeep? Yesterday. I'm talking about good money not peanut. You have a job. Don't you? Do I? Of course I do. Did you suddenly develop dementia? Please Lazarus, I had a long day. I want to rest. You know that I was a street girl before you married me. I don't take trash from anybody. I don't care that you are my husband, I will beat you. Do you think I'm scared of you? I am not. I can't be scared of you. You can't do anything to me. I am warning you. Be careful. I don't want to beat you. Coward. Why don't you beat me? Useless man. You can go and ask about me where I grew up. I break bones and break teeth. I was nicknamed the violence piece. I am actually not surprised. You have never made this marriage peaceful. I don't know why I married you. Shut up. I must not hear your voice till I'm back. Let me see who is at the door. Hello ma'am. Hello Mr. James. Hope all is well. I could hear you and your wife fighting. My wife and I fighting? That's not possible. We have never fought in our lives. We've been married for three years, it has been blissful. But I'm sure of what I heard. I heard you breaking things and exchanging words. Breaking things? That is from the action movie we are watching. My wife and I are having a nice movie time. You can join us if you don't mind. Never mind. Enjoy your movie. We have popcorn. Don't worry. I'm fine. I have to attend a prayer meeting in 15 minutes. You can join us if you don't mind. We just started watching the movie. Maybe next time. I have always wanted to invite you. You can remind me next week. All right. Bye. Bye. You haven't cleared this place. Why should I be the one to clear it? Because you are the violent one. You turned our beautiful home upside down. I can't really blame you. You didn't buy anything into this house. I bought everything with my money. Who asked you to tell a story? I'm going out. Don't take my car. Watch me. Where do I start from? He expects me to rearrange the house we scattered together. Do I look like a maid to him? I don't know why I agreed to marry his ugly self. Let me stop by at Mabel's house. I know something is not right but I can't place my fingers on it. Hello peace. Hello Lazarus. Is my friend at home? Please tell her I'm here. Okay. 
Your friend is here to see you. Who? Peace. Okay. How are you my friend? I'm fine. You look unhappy. What is the problem? It is Lazarus. I don't understand what is wrong with him. He has changed. He doesn't give me money like he used to. That's so bad of him. Unlike my husband, we just came back from our Dubai vacation. My husband is so loving and caring. He keeps showering me with gifts. Wow. I didn't know you went to Dubai. God really blessed you with a good husband. You can say that again. He was almost crying when I was about leaving the house. Wow. What a good man. What's your secret though? I know you used to be very stubborn. It is really good to hear that your home is thriving. I simply married the best. He is so calm with me. He doesn't complain. You won't believe we have never raised our voices at each other. Every day is honeymoon in our home. Wow. That's is so beautiful to hear. I wish to have a home like yours. I'm tired of my marriage honestly. I'm tired. I wish you a home like mine. I just wanted to check on you. I have to go back home to my husband. I know he'll be missing me already. You are so blessed with a good man. Thanks for stopping by. God, I want a home like that of my friend. I am tired of this one. I am tired. Honey, what is happening to us? We were not like this. Please don't talk to me. Why can't you be like Peace's husband? Every day is honeymoon in their home. Why must I be like him? I am Lazarus. There we go again. I see my friend's husbands and what they do. You don't do half of what does guys do for their families. And you know so because. My friends told me. I am trying my best Mabel. God knows I do. I am going to buy groceries. Do you have a list or I should buy the usual? That is what you know how to do best. Buy whatever you want. Barman, give me two shots. You can make it three. I'm not going to allow any man kill me. Okay. I don't know why she is comparing me to her friends. I try my best as a husband and father. Maybe I should double the groceries this time. This is midnight. Why is she not back? I'm not so worried about her but my car. I don't want to see a scratch on it. Thank God I'm also not a bad cook. But I want peace in my home. I can't afford a luxury vacation for now but I can take her on a mini vacation just within the country. That should make her happy. I really hope it does. Cost of living is higher than before. I am really trying my best to be a good husband and father. God please, help me. Help my family. She is still snoring by this time. She came back home drunk in the middle of the night. I am not going to wake her up. I don't care if she misses work today. I'm going to work. Are you ready son? Yes dad. We are ready to go babe. Are you still mad at me? I actually have a surprise for you. Really? What's it? I'll tell you about it in the evening. I don't want Paul to be late. Okay, dear. Have a great day. And you too. Happy wife, happy life. What did you say? Just talking to myself. How was your maths test? It was not bad. I got B+. Plus. Yes, not bad but you can do better okay. Yes dad. I noticed you and mom fight a lot recently. Hope you are not going to get a divorce. Many of my classmates' parents are divorced. I'm scared. Oh no my son. We are not getting a divorce. I'm sorry for all you saw. Please dad, don't get a divorce. We won't in Jesus name. I can't believe James allowed me to sleep till afternoon. He went to work without waking me to go to mine. I can't forgive this man. I'm so angry right now. I want to destroy things. I want to scatter everywhere. What my son said broke my heart. Lord, please, help my home. Help my marriage. I don't know why my wife is comparing me to people. I try my best as a husband and father. What do I do Lord? Fix this Jesus. Fix this. Rachel, 
Have they supplied the scarves and belts? Yes. When? Why didn't you tell me? I'm sorry. The supplier came few minutes to the close of the day. Yesterday? Yes. Okay. I am eager to hear the good news Lazarus has for me. I really hope it is as good as I imagined. I also need to brag to my friends about my husband. Hello. You are welcome to Pearl Clothing Store. Thanks. This is a beautiful place. Thanks. We have beautiful and affordable apparels. You can look around. I'll do that. Have we met before? I don't think so. I think I know you somewhere. No, I don't think I have seen you before. Do you attend Grace Chapel? Yes I do with my family. I knew it. How have you been? I have been good. How have you been enjoying the church? Were you able to attend the last marriage seminar? I haven't attended church for a month now. Why? Hope no problem. I'm a very busy woman. My husband attends though. He doesn't miss church. It is good to always attend as a family. I know but like I said, I don't have the time. God always have time for us. We should equally have time for him. The Bible told us not to forsake the gathering of the brethren. Fellowshipping with the brethren helps us to grow in the wisdom and knowledge of him. Please pray for your family always and don't compare your family with other families. Christ should be your model. Do you know Lazarus? The brother of Mary and Martha or the poor Lazarus at the rich man's table. Lazarus my husband. It seems like you know him so don't lie to me. I don't know your husband. We might have met in church. I have heard you. Please go ahead and shop. I don't believe her. Lazarus must have told her about me. So he is now spreading rumors about me in church. What kind of husband is that? I am angry right now. I am no longer interested in whatever he wants to show me.